Hello everybody and Happy New Year to everybody and welcome to the first um, Tuesday edition of Video Clips. I hope you had a great holiday and you're ready for a really productive 2020 because I sure am and we are here. Um, we ended the year in 2019, my last video clip, I talked about stop talking, start doing. And this means in all areas, like if there's a health issue that needs to be resolved, do it. If there's weight to be lost, let's just do it. If there are things that need to be changed in your life um, that even don't have anything to do with health, do it. If you're looking for a new career, do it. And I've already started taking my own advice in this area, doing, spending more time with friends, buying tickets to things I want to go see, um, getting involved in things more that I want to do. I mean, I had a different kind of last two or three weeks since I've last talked to you by incorporating the stop talking, start doing into my own life. But, but this is the year for us all to make changes personally and in a community setting and etc. So if you're interested in improving your health, join. If you want to learn how to discern good from bad information, join, let us show you how. If you're interested in a career, send me an email, pampopper at msn.com. Let's make 2020 the year that you actually do something about the stuff you're talking about. I'm doing it. I'm inviting you to join me. All right. So a few announcements that I think you're going to be excited about. If you are a member of Wellness Farm Health, we have not raised your dues, but we have increased your benefits. So here are a few of the new benefits that are included with your membership. Monthly office hours with Eileen, our amazing physical therapist. You'll learn more about joint, back, and muscle pain and how to get rid of it. Regular Ask the Therapist sessions with counselor Kylie Rohrbaugh, who is amazing, and you will love spending time with her and learning how to be psychologically healthy. Question of the Week videos posted every week on the member's website, which is as we speak being redone. You're going to be really excited when you log on shortly and see the new look and all the new things on it. And then learn and earn. You can earn up to $235 in gift certificates just for talking to our member relations staff about how to use your benefits. You can um, make, uh, make additional money from uh, signing the Stop Talking, uh, Start Doing pledge, which we have, and attending the classes and completing the worksheets and things that are just all part of your membership. You can get credits for that. And in fact, you can earn $235 toward courses, which is over two times what it costs to be become a basic member. So in what universe do people get buy a membership and get over two times the amount of credits back toward other things that they might want to do, like some of our courses. So if you're interested in that, it's a pretty good return on investment. Send me an email, pampopper at msn.com. And these new benefits are in addition to the very long list of existing benefits, which include conversations with Pam Q&A sessions, a video library, an article library, and preferred pricing on events. You can participate in this stuff regardless of where in the world you live. We have members in 33 countries, so whatever corner of the world you are habitating, you can join and take advantage of all this stuff. A um, couple of just other things, Institute classes start next week and um, the first of the new courses for 2020 will be the vaccine course, which I'm going to teach in February, but the schedule is set up for the first five months of the year. We have so many things going on here. I promise that there is something here that you're interested in. If you will just call us or email me and we can discuss your objectives and how to get you involved. Stop talking, start doing. All right, and you'll hear more about that stop talking, start doing when we get the activist part of what we're doing up and running. We're going to ask people who want to help us change things to make a pledge to do certain things too. And uh, we'll get, get some of you involved in, in those things because if you're like me, you're pretty disgusted with a lot of what's going on in government with the vaccine mandates and all kinds of things that need to be fixed. Lots of work to do. It, we need lots and lots of people to do it. All right, so I chose a topic that I think is kind of interesting because of the time of year. It's cold and flu season and traditional approaches to prevention and treatment are generally terrible. I mean, the vaccines are recommended for prevention of flu and pneumonia, even though they're ineffective for all populations, for all strains and for all years. And by the way, there's really good referenced material in our library on this topic. When people develop the flu and they go see a doctor, Sometimes they're given antibiotics, which is insane. Sometimes they're recommended to take Tamiflu, a useless drug, useless for all people, for all strains of anything you've got. 
There's a very well-referenced article on this topic in the Health Braves Library. And for colds and just general upper respiratory infections, over-the-counter drugs and remedies and antibiotics are commonly recommended, and they have limited effect on symptoms and almost no effect on the duration of illness. But there is an alternative, and it's a little surprising, I think. One inexpensive alternative that does work is black elderberry or Sambucus nigra. Elderberry, like a lot of these types of things, has been used for centuries for many purposes. The Native Americans used it to treat fever and rheumatism. It also has historically been used to treat stomach aches and sinus congestion, constipation, diarrhea, sore throat, and the common cold. It's considered one of Germany's most important medicinal plants and it's used in Ayurvedic medicine. According to a recent medical meta-analysis of four randomized trials with 180 patients, black elderberry is an effective treatment for both colds and flu, and it does significantly reduce respiratory symptoms. In test tube studies, we can even determine a mechanism of action. Standardized elderberry extract has been shown to reduce the replication of human influenza viruses type A and B and H1N1. And a double-blind placebo-controlled study of residents of a kibbutz during an outbreak of flu, patients given Samucol, which is a brand name for an elderberry extract, fared significantly better than those given placebo. And the differences were really stark. So fever improved in 93.3% of the subjects taking Samucol in two days, while in the control group, 91.7% showed improvement in six days. Two days versus six days is, is really remarkable. Within two to three days, almost 90% of the patients taking Zambacol achieved complete cure, while cure took six days in the placebo group. So again, reduction in symptoms relatively quickly and complete resolution of the problem significantly more quickly than people taking placebo. There really aren't any medications over the counter or prescription that shorten the duration of colds and flu. In fact, most people will say, and I commonly have said in the past, the best thing is rest and fluids and time. You just wait for it to pass. Medical intervention doesn't really um, have much value, but elderberry extract does make a difference. It's inexpensive, it has no negative side effects, and there's absolutely no reason not to use it other than your doctor is not likely to recommend it because there is no, there are no reps walking around giving free gifts and golf outings and that sort of thing to doctors uh, representing, there are no people doing that representing the elderberry syrup, <laughs> elderberry extract industry. So um, it's one of those things that uh, it's like a folk remedy that has been used successfully for hundreds of years and um, now it's pretty easy to buy. You can buy, in fact, Sambucol can be purchased just online at sellers like Amazon. So the best thing is to prevent colds and flu and pneumonia and that sort of thing, keeping yourself healthy, keeping your immune system in great shape. And uh, when you feel something coming on, and a lot of times people can tell when they're gonna get sick, I usually can, um, sweating helps, get yourself into a nice hot room like a yoga studio or sauna or, or um, a steam room. Sweating helps, more rest helps, fluids help and the passage of time. But you can sometimes keep yourself from getting sick if you really focus on it. But if you do get sick, black elderberry is an inexpensive alternative that will make you better faster. All right, that's all for now. And um, as usual, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscriber button, pass this on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching it. I'll be back to you on Thursday with more news. But in the meantime, Popper at msn.com is my email address. And if you wanna talk about member rewards, careers, taking classes through our school, um, any, any of those types of things. Send me an email and we'll set up a time and talk about it. All right, have a great day.